How long does it take to change your subconscious mind? The other thing people don't want to hear is that it's, there's no time frame on these. It, it depends on how ready someone is, right? It, it, all right, so to answer the question, yeah. So when, how long does it take? How long does it take someone to get ready? How long does it take someone to prepare? Certain things have to align. Right? There's, you know, there's this thing called the threshold for change, right? So it's that someone recognizes that something's got to change, it's, right? So it's like, look, I, I don't know what it is, but something's got to change. Then you know, the next realization is that um, that, that, that change obviously needs to be me. Like, I am part of this change. It's not the world has to change, I have to change. You know, so, uh, and when I change, the world will change. And that needs to happen now. It has to happen now. Right? I'm, 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 I'm sick of the way things are. It must, it, if you're okay to just keep plodding along the way things are, if there's not enough pain there, it's not gonna happen. So, but then this is the thing, when someone, for example, when someone comes to, you know, start doing some um, personal training with me or coaching, sometimes they're, 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 they're just exploring the idea. They know something needs to change, but they haven't quite accepted enough responsibility for it just yet. But until they take enough responsibility for it and they're, de they're desperate for it now, until those three drop, then they're not, they're not gonna really, nothing really is gonna change. So if in order for someone to make a subconscious change, mm. they need to be at those three places. Yeah, and those things don't shift just by choice, again, this is the thing. Nothing, nothing here that we talk about on this channel, nothing here that, that, I, that I'll pr promote can, is, is a matter of choice. I, I meaning to just like, mm, yep, now, done. Like, it's something you have to, have, you have to uh, explore and uh, come to terms with and, yeah, uh, and, and then, huh? Learn about Yeah, learn about through experience. It's something that emerges from the from the uh, from the collection of things that you're that you're, that you're doing that you're uh, of of approaches that you're uh, playing with. That's the thing. You got to kind of play here too. You know, if it's too serious and too much heaviness about it, you don't want to. You know, it's not. Inspiration doesn't come from that. So there needs to be a sense of play and a sense of. Uh, exploration there that um, and then something a lot of the time it's almost impossible to predict what that thing is you just got to set up the conditions for change and uh, and and understand the process of change better uh, and it's been nudging yourself towards those things and then something clicks and that could be different for everyone and it, yeah and it's you absolutely different yeah like when you understand problem. yourself when you understand the problem better the solutions emerge on their own. That's why I think that's why I mean, like when you understand the problem, when you understand the problem space, you, you can navigate it better, you know? And so it's like, if I'm just blindly just bumping around, like just not understanding why I'm so, uh, why I'm self-sabotaging, why, uh, why I'm constantly making these choices that are screwing with me, why I'm not moving towards where I wanna go. Like if I don't understand those things, I just feel totally controlled by them. You know, and, and it's just having that understanding Oh man, like that. The, well, then you're like, you get it, you know. Like when I feel that way, when I feel just driven to eat ice cream all night or whatever, like I get it. I understand it, you know. I understand where it's coming from, and it just it just has less of a grip on you, and it just it doesn't tend to emerge in the same way. And again, those as in the more that you explore the problem space, the more that the solutions just tend to emerge, you know, based on what you're inspired by, you know, and based on what makes sense to you. Maybe it doesn't make the sense immediately. Maybe those inspirations don't come immediately. But I mean, that's, and that's the thing, that's why timing, timing cannot be told, type cannot be told. You know, it's, it, it, you just have to explore the space, explore the problem space, explore the possibility space and see what catches. And, that, and that's all unconscious and that's the thing. You, like I said, you don't have direct access to it. We only have direct ac indirect ac access through exploring the problem and the possibility space.